Hi y'all, I'm Becky and this is Jen and we work on the Lipton marketing team. And not only do we work together, but we were both also born and raised in the South. Becky's from New Orleans and I'm from Macon, Georgia. And today we just wanted to take a minute to show y'all how we make tea back home. Everyone in the South puts their own spin on making sweet tea. We've realized our recipes are quite similar, so today we're gonna show you how to do it. So here's what you'll need to make a gallon of sweet tea. First, you'll need four cups of boiling water. Second, we're gonna be using six Lipton cup size tea bags. Or if you have family size tea bags on hand, you can use three family size tea bags for this recipe. You'll also need just a pinch of baking soda. And finally, we'll need some sugar. Today's recipe is gonna be using a cup and a half. Honestly, you can sweeten to taste, and I will admit I have been known to use two and a half cups of sugar in my sweet tea. Finally, we'll also be topping off with enough cold water to fill your gallon pitcher at the end. Jen is a tea purist, however, I love to add lemon and fresh mint to my sweet tea, so have some of that on hand as well if you like it. So let's get started. Bring four cups of water in a medium-sized saucepan to boil. Once it boils, remove it from the direct heat. And now you're ready to put in your tea bags. An old trick that Becky actually taught me was to tie the strings of your tea bags together. This prevents the tea bags from falling into the water, swimming away, or even from the tags from falling into the burner and actually catching on fire. Once you've got the tea bags tied, simply drop into your pot, give them a quick dunk, make sure you put the lid back on the pot, and then let's let the tea steep for about 15 minutes. Now that your tea is steeped for about 15 minutes, move the cover and remove the tea bags. Make sure to give it a good squeeze. My grandmother taught me a little trick. Just a pinch of baking soda will prevent the tea from being bitter as well as give it a nice gorgeous color. Now that we've added the baking soda, we're ready for the secret ingredient to sweet tea, the sugar. As I said earlier, we're going to be using about a cup and a half of sugar today, so I want to measure that out. A way that I know that tea's to my sweetness liking is I want my lips to almost pucker when I taste it. Once we've got all the sugar added to our tea, we want to give it a really good stir. You want to make sure that all of your sugar dissolves completely. So don't be afraid if it takes a minute. If you do start to have issues though, feel free to put it back on the stove top, just to give it a little extra heat which will help the dissolving process. Once it's all dissolved, you're ready to pour the tea into the pitcher. Excellent. And now all we have to do is top off with cold water to fill the pitcher. Now you're all done. Just refrigerate to cool. Our sweet tea's now been chilling in the refrigerator for several hours. So it's ice cold and ready to enjoy. I'll add some lemon, some fresh mint. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, delicious. So there y'all have it. A sweet tea that even Yankees will love. 